Welcome to a Soundscape tutorial video. In this video, we're going to cover delay modes. Soundscape is one of only a few spatial audio systems which utilizes level and time-based panning. Most use only level, such as VBAP, VBIP, SBCAP, and Ambisonics. As a result, Soundscape is not sweet spot dependent, making it the perfect solution for all deployments, from a small performing arts venue to a sold out arena. But what is meant by time in this case? To better understand this concept, we'll start by reviewing the status quo of time aligning a traditional PA system. To do so, a system engineer must measure and enter fixed delay times which requires them to make judgments in a one-size-fits-all approach to system timing. In the pictures we see here, we have a measurement microphone in front of a stereo PA with front fills and delay lines. The first judgment call a system engineer must make is to pick a point where all speakers will be delayed from. This is sometimes referred to as the zero point or zero time. In the case of this stereo system with fills and delays, the engineer must decide if they want to delay all speakers from the mains, the front fills, or the outfills. Expert system engineers often delay the whole system back to the center stage or whatever source on stage emits the most volume, such as drums or a stack of guitar amps. Once this primary decision is made, the engineer must painstakingly measure arrival times to various microphone positions and enter them into the system one by one. This process can take anywhere from 15 minutes to four hours, depending on the speed of the operator and the size and complexity of the system. Once the process is complete for one side of the system, the settings are usually copied to the other side of the PA and recalibrating or realigning the system for artistic goals or different event types is frequently skipped due to the required time and effort. With Soundscape, the placement of an object with on scene will automatically time align all speakers to the acoustic source on stage. This is done within seconds and with a simple click and drag. No system measurement required and the entire speaker deployment, including all fills, is now properly time-aligned to the acoustic source on stage. In fact, the sound system can be automatically time-aligned using this method for up to 128 performers at the same time. This means the speakers will maintain multiple alignment scenarios at the same time, separately for each input of the show, and all while saving time and effort allowing our system to be tailored to each source on stage individually. In order to understand how the automatic time alignment behaves and the options available to the user in Soundscape, we have to introduce a new term. This is called delay mode. Each sound object or input to the processor can run in one of three delay modes, full, tight, or off. Let's look at some examples to help explain the modes. We'll start by looking at the full delay mode to explain the full capabilities of our proprietary on-scene algorithm. Here we see one sound object in the center of the stage, nine meters away from the front fill speakers and an additional 12 meters away from the delay lines. Now let's enable level-based panning. We now see the level-based panning represented by the shade of red on the speakers. In full mode, the distance to each loudspeaker is calculated independently, making for the most precise localization for fixed objects on stage, such as orchestra or band instruments. This is because an acoustic instrument, such as this drum kit, emits sound waves from its location outward in every direction and reaches each listener in the audience at a slightly different time. Our on-scene algorithm emulates this natural phenomenon of sound by playing back the sound object from each loudspeaker at the time it would take for the sound to reach that speaker, resulting in a more natural sounding spatial audio. This is why we recommend using full mode for most end-scene sound objects. Now let's explore off mode. Off mode disables the delay processing for the sound object, resulting in a level based panning only. That's right, if it's your preference to have level-based panning only, you can do it too with Soundscape. While we don't recommend this, 
off mode is recommended to use with fast moving sound objects. This is because fast movements can compromise the delay adjustments and cause artifacts. But this is not always the case as it depends on the setup, content, and movement speed and direction. So feel free to test it first. Now let's talk about tight mode. Tight mode calculates the distance to the nearest loudspeaker, then subtracts this time from all delays. This delay mode was created specifically for playback material. We can see here that if we have LCR content to play back, no matter where the objects are on stage, the delay to the nearest loudspeaker is reduced, allowing for perfectly time-aligned playback of stereo, surround, or 3D audio files. Now, how do we set the delay mode for a sound object? In R1, when loading a soundscape-enabled project file, it will automatically generate a DS100 and scene inputs view. Open this, change to show mode, and click the drop-down for the end scene input you would like to change. If you would like to change all inputs to one delay mode, use the end scene sound objects delay mode option. Just be aware that if an input is set to matrix mode, this parameter can be changed but will have no effect. You can also change the delay mode for an object from the on scene positions view. Simply click the object, open the parameters panel, and select your desired delay mode. In Create Control, select the sound object you would like to set the delay mode for and click the delay mode of your choice from the parameters panel. You can change this value for multiple objects or groups at the same time, and this value can be recalled from snapshots for all sound objects within your project. In the Soundscape DAW plugin, simply open the plugin window and click the delay dropdown. This value can be automated using your DAW's automation features. Now that we know what the delay modes are and how to set them for our sound objects, we'll now briefly cover a complementary parameter called function group delay. As we saw in the previous example slides, using the tight and off modes does not completely time align the sound object for our system. Function group delay, or simply group delay, is a single fixed delay time that can be entered into R1 during the commissioning of the system, which allows for a fixed delay time to be applied to objects running in tight or off delay mode. Objects in full mode ignore this parameter altogether. To adjust this parameter in R1, while online and in tuning mode, click the Devices view, Devices tab, select the DS100, Function Groups tab, and adjust the group delay settings. This value can be adjusted in 0.1 millisecond increments. Wow, that sure was a lot of information. So here's a simple cheat sheet you can use in your productions. And if you want to go even deeper, check out the Soundscape guidebook available at dbaudio.com. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.